Shalom, welcome to my channel, The Hebrew Bible. This is Moses Gumadi, and in this video, we'll talk about cardinal numbers in Hebrew. Cardinal numbers. Shaloshim Elif means 30,000. What about 30,000? Well, 30,000 subscribers we have on this channel. So, thank you very much. Thank you for subscribing, coming back to my channel, for watching, for liking for your bell icon, for commenting and all that stuff and I'm very grateful and praise the Lord, Baruch Hashem, we've got 30,000 subscribers. I have recently opened a store that you can access from YouTube and I will also put a YouTube link and there is a $5 off uh, on every item, well I mean per, per order basically and you can use this code. Right, so let's get to the point. 2 Samuel chapter 6 verse 1. By Yosef O David et kol bachor be Israel shaloshim elef. So David gathered together all the chosen men of Israel, 30,000. Well, we get 30,000 in the Bible several times, of course, and that's where we took the phrase shaloshim elef. Shaloshim means 60, Elef is, sorry, Shaloshim is 30. What am I saying? Shaloshim is 30 and Aleph, it is written Aleph here, but it in, in other places it is written Elef. Both are one and the same. It means 1000, so that means 30,000. But how can we actually put words to the numbers? What are the real words that denote the numbers? So this is, of course, Shaloshim. Elif, but these are the numbers. Let's begin with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. to 10. Earlier I mentioned about cardinal numbers. Cardinal numbers are 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. The actual number. Ordinal number, O-R-D-I-N-A-L, ordinal number would be 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, as opposed to 1, 2, 3, 4, okay? Right, so these are the cardinal numbers that we are talking about because card cardinal and ordinal have slight differences um, in Hebrew just as well as in English. Okay, one is Achad, Shaychad, Shnaim, Shalosh, Arba, Chamesh, Shesh, Shva, Shemone, Thesha, Eser, Eser. Okay. This is masculine absolute, masculine construct. What is construct? Construct means it is linked to another word occurring next and usually translated as off, one off or sec two off, etc. Okay, so ahad, echad, ahad. And uh, here you can see the vowels have changed. Shne, not shnaim, shne, shalosh, this is shalosh. This is Shalosh. Arba remains the same. Some of them remain the same. Other things slightly change. Construct. Similarly, we have feminine absolute and feminine construct. Here it is Achat. It's not Achad. It's the Shtaim. Shtaim. So this is Shataim, you can say in biblical Hebrew. In, uh, Israel, in Israel, they say Shtaim. So Shtaim, Shtaim. Uh, the Shanaim. There is a difference uh, in the feminine, right? Shalosha, Arbaga, Hamisha, Ashisha. Here you can see the He following at the last, uh, the last letter is He in all these cases for the feminine. And when it comes to the construct, uh, it is, uh, it ends with the Tau. So Shte, uh, similar to Shne, Shte, Shalosh, Shaloshet. Achat remains the same, a couple, except for the couple of uh, things, maybe one and two most of the times. Shaloshet, Arbat, Chameshet, uh, Sheshet, Shivat, Shimon, Shimonet, Shimonat, Tishat, Aseret, 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 Aseret Asera. Devarim, do you remember the Ten Commandments? <laughs> so you have that word there. Okay. Ish Echad, one man. Ish Echad, one man. Now, if it is uh, two women, Shtai Nashim. Shtai Nashim. 
Shatai Nashim, you can say. Okay. Here the Shnaim is a, this is plural, sorry, this is feminine, but this is masculine, Shnaim. So Amudim Shnaim, two pillars. Amudim Shnaim, two pillars. So that is, this is masculine. Shiva Banim, Shiva Banim, seven sons. Now you might be wondering, but why is this Shiva Banim? This is Banim is masculine, but Shiva is a feminine, isn't it? So I think, you know, you'll, you'll find this sort of uh, peculiarities, especially with the numbers. I'll show you some more as we go forward. Now, if you look at it, 1 to 10, obviously, you have to memorize. But once you come to 11 onwards, 11 to 19, so the way it works is, if you remember the 10, the word for 10 is what? Eser, Eser, huh? Asara in, in feminine, Aseret, okay. Eser is the word. Now, Eser is the word, uh, so Asar remains the word at the end, that is 10. Achat Asar is 11. Shnaim Asar is 12. Shlosha Asar, Arba'a Asar, Hamisha Asar, Shisha Asar, Shiva Asar, Shmona Asar, Tisha Asar. Similarly, in feminine, Achat Esre, Shteim Esre, Shalosh Esre, Arba Esre, Hamesh. Esre Shesh, Esre Shva, Esre Shmona, Esre Tesha, Esre. Now, what do you notice here is that all these words, except Achat, baby, Saim, Shita, and first, the first two, Shalosh, Arba, Hamesh, Shesh, Shva, Shmona, all these are originally masculine, and they are put in the front of the Esre, which is feminine, and that becomes feminine, whereas in case of masculine, Asar, these are all masculine in the end, but if they are prefixed by this word, uh, shalosha, arba'a, all ending with a he, looks like feminine, but actually the whole thing is masculine. It's very interesting. I don't know why it is, but that's how it is. Okay. And then once you get to 19 and you have 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. So 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Right. Now, Esrim. Esrim is Asar or Eser. Uh, if you take two of them, is it a 20? Esrim. That's why it's Esrim. I don't know why it is not Esraim, but Esrim. Shaloshim uh, is 30. That's the word we saw. Shaloshim, Elef, 30,000. Shaloshim. Arba. <coughs> Arbaim, Arbaim is 40. Hamishim, 50. Shishim, Shivim, Shivim, Shivim. You can't pronounce Ain. Not that I'm pronouncing it perfectly, to be honest, but uh, I'm trying. <laughs> Shivim, you can say Shivim. You pronounce it like Aleph, no problem. That's how they do it in Israel. Uh, Shivim. Shmonim, Teshim, right? So these have to be remembered, okay? Except that they are related to Sitesha, Shmona, Shiva, Shesh, Kamesh, etc. So it ends with the uh, Im, okay? So Hamesh Veshishim is 5 and 60, which is actually 65. So 65 is written like this. Uh, not always Hamesh uh, occurs first, Shishim, where Hamesh, perhaps occurs in some places, but, but this is, I'm going to show you the words where this is. Hamesh Veshishim means 55 and 60. And then uh, now that we have touched 90, and then and we go, go to 100, 200, 300, well, 200, and then multiple hundreds, a thousand, two thousands, and multiple thousands. So what is the word? We have, there's no masculine, feminine here, it's only absolute and construct. Construct means off. It ends with off, okay? 
uh, when it is in front of another word. May a, may a, may a, a hundred off. If you say hundred off, you say may a. If you, it's only hundred, they say may a. Mataim, mataim two hundred. Aim. If you remember the singular, dual, and plural lesson that we did on the nouns, that is one of the nouns video. You can check it out in the Hebrew grammar section in one of the playlists. Uh, aim is basically two, although that rule is broken in the numbers here. Um, meot is hundreds. How many? Could be three and more. Elef is thousand. Alpaim is two thousand. And alfaim in multiple thousands. This is what I said that Aim is broken right here. Because <laughs> Alpaim with the Dagesh Alpaim Alfaim. Alfaim is thousands, Alpaim is two thousand. But the construct is Alfe Alfe. Elef Elef is thousand. And so Shalosh Meot. Shalosh Meot is three hundred. So here we have an example in Genesis 5.23, why he called Yameh Hanok, who is this guy, Hanok, Enoch, as we call it, Enoch, Ch, Ch. Oh, there is actually a difference between, although in Israel, uh, in Sephardic pronunciations nowadays, they, they don't distinguish between Chaf, Chaf, without the Dagesh, uh, for example, uh, so take this this letter and the last letter, right? The first letter and the last letter. This is like with the H with the double H or to make it triple H. That's that's the sound. Hanoch. The H, the H, the R, you know, the that's a scratchy sound. That's a rough sound. Comes only for the H, not H. But nowadays in Israel, they pronounce both chet, they say chet. They don't say chet, they say chet. Well, the Tiberians originally pronounced this as chet and this as chaf. So there was a difference. There is a difference. Again, you might see me pronouncing it sometimes correctly, sometimes otherwise. Yeah, there is a bit of a lack of consistency because of multiple traditions and we pick up different things and sometimes are not consistent. Okay, right. So getting to the point, why he call Yeme Hanok? Hanok. Hamesh ve shishim shana ushlosh meot shana. So how many, all the days of Enoch were 360 and five years. So this is Hamesh Veshishim, we already saw that is 5 and 60, Shana, 5 and 60 years, and Shlosh uh, Meot, 300 Shana years. So that's the total of 365 years. That's how you count the numbers. You can go to the book of Numbers, or maybe go to Genesis chapter 10, or, you know, or maybe you can go to chapter, chapter, is it chapter 5, or wherever these. Yeah, I think chapter five, you can look at all the, all the numbers, the number of years people have lived, and you can look at all those numbers. Very interesting things, these. Okay, that brings us to the end of uh, this video almost. Once again, thank you very much for subscribing to my channel, subscribing to my channel, making it uh, cross 30,000 subscribers. Just uh, wanted to mention, I mentioned already, but uh, you could use this code uh, for the stores. Down below, there is a link. Uh, you can get a $5 off on your order. Thank you very much. Please do like and subscribe to my channel. Click the bell icon. Please do comment. And I will see you again in the next video. Thank you very much.